And we're back to Let's Yellow, where permadeath is our way of life. Since Advance Wars 2 decided to go completely bonkers insane, see what Hyperkin decided to sell me a Retron that glitches. That's awesome. It glitched so hard it ruined the video. I actually had to go back, play the video on my computer, and record it via another recording program because this the Elga default Elgato software just completely crapped itself out. Oh, my default recording software. I don't know. <clears throat> anyway, we are now on to Aegiswing. Aegiswing? I have no idea how to pronounce that word. It's a very classic word, but I don't know how to pronounce it. Now, this one is distributed... Oh, you can actually read it right there. It's distributed for free for some reason. Some sort of internship project. And we are just going to play it, since it is part of our game library. So, let us go. Oh, could have said all that here. That's okay. It was designed for, I think, yeah, one to three friends. So it's designed for four player. We're going to play a single player. Just because. And just default options. I'm playing on the Xbox 360. It is backwards compatible on the Xbox One. I just happen to have my 360 hooked up to the recording hardware, so that's what we're playing on. There we go. Man, I've played this game in forever. It's actually messing with my eyes. The rotating 3D backgrounds and all that. Oh. Oh. Yeah, games like this that I think are one-hit deaths, I might go for continues instead of lives. There's a lot of games, like think about like Silver Surfer or Contra, where you get hit and you technically die, but. It starts you right back where you were, and really going back, or fail state means losing a continue instead of a life. The definition of dying is, can be very wonky in some games. Like, you kind of have to take it on a game by game basis. I think I lost all of my freaking. Oh! Yeah, see? It starts me right back here. And I have no special weapons, that's good. Oh, you can hold the button, that's good. I don't know what that electric thing did. Oop, there we go. Right on my nose. Bubble shield, okay. Oh, nice. There we go. Shots fired. Accuracy, 49%. Nah, screw it. Hostile welcome. The Aegis Starfighter is success. But as you return to the fleet, nothing greets you except scrap and radiation. The Roxia have begun their invasion, and only the Aegis wing remains to fight them. Communications are jammed. You must return to the nearby fleet research station. Okay. Yeah, shoot 'em ups like this, another classic genre, but they've never been a 
super favorite of mine. I can never really play them for more than like a couple minutes. I'm not gonna let that stop me from doing my best, but because I'm actually actually trying to accomplish something here, actually, 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 I'm going to start like throwing a dollar in a jar and donating it to, donating it to puppies every time I use the word actually, just to stop myself from using it. I don't know why. <laughs> it's like my favorite non-favorite word. My favorite word I hate. Honestly, as far as like, well, I don't know if I would call this bullet hell. Bullet hell is an entirely different level from this, but as far as schmups, it's kind of simplistic feeling. I mean, it is a, apparently like an internship freebie, but you can't like expect, well, you can't expect like, oh, well, I guess you can expect professional quality. I don't know what I want to say. You can't expect the kind of game that you would pay good money for. Let's put it that way. Not to say it's bad, but... No oh, hell, these days you might actually be able to get some good money for this on Steam. Let's put some naked women in the background. You can make a lot of money on this. Here looked like something I couldn't hit. It's kind of a big problem with a lot of shoot 'em ups. I, I know it's like infamous for Silver Surfer after the nerd got through with it, but something a lot of shmups have where I can't really tell. And this game doesn't seem to have environmental hazards at all aside from those meteors, so it's not that big a deal, but that does sort of trip me up from time to time. I suppose that's why a lot of these shoot 'em ups don't have environmental hazards. I destroyed the meteor. Then you can do that. So that the player is not going. Okay, can I hit that? Okay, can I hit that? Okay, can I hit that? Yes, no. The bullets. That's what you're avoiding. Straight up. So wasteful with my like special weapons. I could probably use them a lot more. I find a lot, and I'm just replacing the ones that I already have. There we go. Much better. Seek. It seems you're not the only ship en route to the fleet station. A massive hive ship 
trailing hundreds of Erexian starfighters paints a wide splash across your sensors. You change course to engage, and a scratchy alien voice crackles over the radio. We need this world. You shall perish. Some different music tracks, that's for sure. Not sure what to make of that blaring trumpet or whatever that is. Shield. I think at some point I would memorize what each of these things is, but nope. I'm surprised every single time. Alright, that's the electric pulse. EMP, I'll assume. That didn't help. I've got the mega laser. I don't actually know how. Okay, there goes a dollar. I don't really know how long this game is. The second one. Getting so intense. It's like a Star Wars track. At least it's changed. Something different. Did they eventually recover? I don't know. I haven't seen one do it yet. Go. 
point blank range with a big freaking laser. That's gotta do some good. Ah! Oh! Dead! Nice! Halfway point? Okay! Last hope. At last. The fleet research station is in sight, and under attack by a wave of enemy ships. But this station developed the Aegis Starfighter, and the same technology was built in the station's defense cannons. With luck, they can hold out until you repel the Agraxian raiding party. Biggest problem with uh, shmups like this is the fact that there's not really a consequence to dying. Like some don't even have limited lives. Like this one, you get four like four lives. I don't think it's like each hit takes a life, but it's close enough to where I'm counting it. It's my show, my rules. So if you have a problem with it, deal with it. But yeah, a lot of them like. I own one called Trigger Heart Exelica that does that. You just have infinite lives. You can just keep coming back to the same spot over and over and sort of zerg rush the entire game. Just doesn't really feel fulfilling to play. Of course, that is a proper bullet hell, so. And I know the idea that the challenge is to get high scores. That's the point. It's not really so much trying to get to the end as just getting score. The problem is. For most games, for me, score isn't all that interesting. I say that as someone whose first system was the Atari 2600. Which I'm sure some people are going to go, Wait, what? And you don't like scores all that much? Are you insane? I might be insane, but... Still is what it is. Well, that was a booby trap if I ever saw one. I should have seen that coming. I did see that coming, actually. I did it anyway. That's the kind of crazy I am. I'd kept that shield. There we go, we made it. Oh, I don't even know what hit me there. Come on. Let's make this the second game we've actually beaten. That's what I want to do.
Okay, is that even music anymore? It just sounds like a trumpet jam session. Alright. Re-entry. As the last Iraqian raider flares into dust, comm channels to Europa are cleared of static. The attack on the research station was just a distraction. The Iraxian Hive Mother has led the bulk of her fleet to Europa, Europa's capital city. If humanity is to survive, the Araxia must be destroyed. We're in a planet now. Ah! Stupid tentacle issues! What the hell? Stop it! City just kind of slowly fading in through the fog. That's really cool. Whoa. Now that's a good background. So much better than the generic star fields and ships. Very compelling. Fighters don't know how to shoot straight, isn't it? Oh, okay, the laser ones shoot very straight. They just don't actually aim at anything. The only ones who do aim are those yellow ones. I don't know if this is going to deflect lasers, and I'm not super eager to find out. Of course I missed one. Oh, I think I still got it. Nice. into it. I don't even know what I was doing there. Like my brain was going, it's so pretty. Oh, damn. Pretty clouds. Come on, we can do this. Alright. Not much more left. 
Health, that's good. I'm threatening boss! Oh! He's at the top! Does he actually go all the way up? Doesn't seem like he does. Oh! Oh! Yeah! If that was the final boss, I'm gonna be pissed. I might have to look that up. Well, yeah. That is it for an Aegis Wing. I think we had a good run. We are almost there. Probably. Maybe. Hopefully we'll be able to beat a second game. The only one other one we beat is Abzu, which is a game I don't think you can die in. Well, yeah. See you next time. Later.